see here we got uh, tape protecting the track I mean maybe there's glue seeping underneath but when I pull the tape off at least you know the bulk of the track will be free of all that grass so I don't have to scrape it away so and uh, then I'm also free to pick away at it to make the line a little bit jagged because when I pull the tape up there's just gonna be a straight line right there so go ahead and you know scrape away with my knife just kind of like uh, Oh, let me show you what I've been doing. Try to clean some of this mess up. Just like that. See? Just like that. And yeah, it's leaving a couple little clumps in here, and that's not bad. That's not necessarily unrealistic. But uh, I think having the tape, taping up the, the, you know, your track will uh, keep uh, the bulk of the headaches at bay. So I've got a little bit of extra work to do, but uh, I can deal with that. And if I accidentally tear up too big of a chunk of ballast, I can always put a little ballast in there and uh, give it a shot of glue and call it good. So anyway, I'm going to do some more of this short segment and time lapse and I'm only gonna put the uh, grass in I'll put it all the way up to here and probably just up to there because I'm still need to finish out that scene with the shacks I'm gonna have two shacks here You've probably seen on my skid shack video two shacks here a small house a little gravel parking lot here and then a trail down into the river this will probably be one of the last scenes I end up actually putting scenery on, so uh, I'll let me get on with it. Down here, I'm going to uh, put a little bit of the uh, little block of foam here, kind of fill it in a little bit, and put a small block here to uh, get rid of that gap in there and kind of smooth it out. And then I'll end up uh, putting some uh, static grass on here to get it to blend together. So that's uh, what I'm going to do next. Uh, let's see, short block of foam. Okay, let's see. Yeah, like that. Yeah. 
just like that. I'm going to cut it down to height. I'll do that by running the blade along the bottom edge of the layout and just cutting into the foam like that. Okay, put this down. And then should be able to squeeze that in underneath there. There. Just like that. Too much, but I can always shape that later. There, that's about right. Give this a quick, get some of this dust off. Give it a quick shot of glue. And in this case, I'll just use a little uh, carpenter's glue. Hold this in place. Don't have much coming out. I got this hole a little plugged up. There. And once this dries, I can do a little carving. Get this thing in the shape. piece here, a smaller block. Hmm. And then cut. About that. About half the height. And I just want to just, just kind of rub it like this to get it to, that's what's nice about this green foam, that if you rub it on something that's a little bit harder, it'll conform to the scenery like that, so I can get this to blend in pretty easily. Here. I've got that set. 